Keller was fascinated by the tsunami idea and followed Smith to Mexico. Keller and her colleague Wolfgang Stinnersbeck investigated 50 rock outcrops in the same region. The same sandstone feature Smith described occurred everywhere they looked. But somehow, Smith's tsunami analysis just didn't seem to fit. It's a nice story, but when you take a second look, the story just doesn't stack up. There's something fishy about it. It just doesn't make sense. In science, they say there is nothing sadder than a beautiful theory ruined by a single awkward fact. And Keller and Stinnesbeck thought they could see lots of awkward facts. Even the first time that we came to this place, we noticed there was something wrong with Jan Smith's story. There are just too many details that you have to explain some other way. Their first awkward fact was evidence of ancient life fossilized in the sandstone. We have this lower gray level uh, where we find feeding structures, feeding tracks of a probably a worm-like animal which, well, ate the sediment. And we have an upper layer here with dwelling structures of a crab. It looked to them as if the lower layer of sandstone had been thoroughly colonized by worms over months or even years. Only afterwards was the upper layer deposited and colonized by the crabs. It seemed to them that there were two layers created at different times, and not within a couple of days, as Smith had suggested. So this layer up here has nothing to do with the lower level. The two are separated by time and by a considerable amount of time. The next awkward fact was the existence of layers of muddy sedimentary rock interspersed in the sandstone. These, they thought, would have taken a long time to form. They are made of fine grains, which tend to build up slowly on the sea floor. So these fine grains needed some time to settle. In fact, an awful lot of time. And in that case, these sandstones would be separated by some time. Then, near the bottom of the outcrop, they discovered their third awkward fact, a layer of limestone. Limestone is given away by its violent reaction to acid. It can also take a very long time to form. Finally, Keller and Stinnesbeck discovered their most awkward fact of all. It lay eight meters below the outcrop. It was another layer of spherules. Chemical analysis suggested these remains of tiny meteorites, like the layer higher up, could only have come from the Chicxulub crater. For Keller and Stinnersbeck, this changed everything. 